What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make dark pop, alt pop in the styles of Chase Atlantic. I'm going to face it. Feel like I'm going insane. I'm going to face it. Here I already have a basic structure laid down. Four bars is intro and eight bars of words and then again eight bars of chorus. At start I usually like having a basic melody idea that will lead the entire song. So in this case I have this pluck melody that I made in Serum. And then it just repeats itself. So when it repeats, I think I'll just add some chords using some piano. For the piano, I'm using Spitfire Audio's Labs, the soft piano with some added processing. Using Portal for some grain delay and also some reverb. I'm gonna have this reverse effect that will lead into our verse, so it sounds more like this. For the verse drums, I'm gonna keep it really simple because usually the verses to a Chase Atlantic song is also very simple consisting of just a basic drum pattern with a reese, maybe some plucks or some harmonic elements. That's it. So we are gonna keep it as simple as we can. This is how the drums sound. For the kick, I'm just using kick 2. I just made one in kick 2. Without any post-processing, it sounds like this. So I added a knock. That added some punch and some clip. Some saturation using snappy. And just a sky scope. It's, this, is, this is just an oscilloscope. And then it is going through a group as well where I added R bass for more added subharmonics. And a pro MB to tame those low ends that the R bass brought out. And that's how you get a good trap kick. For the snare, it's just a sample that I made a while ago. What makes it more interesting are these other layers that are on top of the main snare. This is a high tonal hit that Chase Atlantic loves using. And it's just a simple sine wave pluck with some distortion to make it sound more squarey. Together it sounds like this. And I also added this reverby percussion hits on top of the snare to make it more interesting. So I'm going to just copy the chords from the piano and add a new synth sound to it for the verse. And for the bass, I'm just gonna have a really simple 8 to 8 pattern. It's just a simple 8 to 8 serum patch. These gaps right here feel very empty, so I'm gonna just add some bass fills, make it more interesting, give it some character but also retain that dark bassy energy. So I added this bass fill that I made a while ago in Serum. Gives so much character to a boring worse idea which would have just sound like this without. Meh. With. added another one here and this one track is just a delay throw by the way it's just adding delay for the second half of the verse we're gonna add some variation but in this case it's just gonna be this one hi-hat loop because we don't need much here We're gonna bring back our main plug melody which is gonna be more subtle this time and just gonna use a sign plug. It's just, it's just this. It's just a sine wave made into a plug. Adds up really nicely to the dark atmos that we are trying to create here. Yeah. 
for the pre-chorus we're gonna bring back our piano here with our sign pluck melody but this time instead of an A to 8 we're gonna add a Reese instead to make it sound a little more dark and so that the pre-chorus feels more like a breakdown before the main chorus hits you so it's just gonna be a hi-hat piano sign plug melody and a Reese followed by a pause in the last bar and we're just gonna add some ear candy that will lead us to the main chorus so for that I'm just gonna use a sub drop and a big whoosh and that leads to our main chorus here it's basically all the same but there's gonna be a lot more layering happening I changed the entire kick pattern from being really simple like this to something more like this Also added this kick fill that's in triplet. A crash cymbal at the start. And some close hi-hats going like It just adds to the main groove. Because we already have a hi-hat loop that's already pretty complicated. So we just need a small layer of hype. So that's what the closed hi-hats do here. We're gonna bring back our main pluck melody, but this time it's gonna be more impactful and more filled. So it's more upfront. For this, I'm just using a simple pluck preset from Serum and I have this. To make it a little more interesting, I added a half time that adds a little counter melody of sorts to it. And a Valhalla super massive to give it more air. Added this pad to make it more atmospheric and big. The aim here is to make the chorus sound as atmospherically rich as we can. So we're gonna add all sorts of pads, reverb plugs, this main sustained reese. And in the second half of the chorus, we're gonna add some more atmospheric elements to lift the entire thing up. And before that, I'm just gonna add a little bass fill that will lead into the second half of the chorus that sounds like this. So here I have this decent sampler patch which is made out of a violin I believe or like a viola and it sounds ethereal. And it adds so much to the main atmosphere of the chorus and it sounds so big. So this is how I go about with making a song like Chase Atlantic and hope you found this video to be helpful and learned something. If you did, give this video a like, it helps the channel a lot and subscribe for more. I'm gonna try and be more consistent this time. So here's how the entire thing sounds like so far. <laughs>